You look uptight Nadia. What's the matter? Oh. Bell it's you. I'm just having problems understanding models. It is so difficult. Oh. In that case, let's join Amy and Islin. They're going to meet Sir Imran. Hopefully he can explain to you about models. Hello girls. So, what brings the four of you here? Sir, we are having difficulty in understanding models. Can you help do it? Yes, of course. First and foremost, I will explain how and why models are used. In the aircraft industry, model airplanes are used in wind tunnels to study flight characteristic. Engineers can study air drag, aerodynamic of the flight and also test real-world surroundings. Another example is in the architecture industry. Architectural models are used to show the scale of physical images such as buildings. Besides that, it is also used as sales tool when developers want to sell units such as condominiums and apartments to potential buyers. Next is the reason models are used. Models help in predicting future evolution of a system from its past evolution. Besides that, model can also help predict what the conditions might be under certain situation. Now, are there any more questions? Yes. Now, can you explain about the benefits and limitations of modeling? Well, one of the benefits is it helps to compare between our mathematical or statistical data to another in other to determine the strengths or weaknesses which determines whether the data is significant or not. Another benefit is that, it helps to show the nature and behavior of a system, by the numerical or quantitative value, which excludes emotional judgment of human. On the other hand, limitations include insufficient details. This is because, most models are unable to include all the details of the objects, that they represent. Besides that, approximation is also part of the limitation, since the models include approximation for convenience, the outcome of the model, might not reflect exactly in reality, besides... Alright. Now, it's my turn to ask. Amy and Bell. Can both of you tell me the difference between deterministic and stochastic models? As far as I remember, stochastic models possesses randomness while in deterministic models, there are no room for random variation. As for stochastic models, it is usually based on fluctuation observed in historical data. However, in deterministic model, the output is fully determined by parameter values and initial conditions. Very good both of you. Seems like you've done your reading on the matter. Now Islin, tell me one advantage of both the models. If I am not mistaken, stochastic model enables modelers to monitor if predictions of a model are within the bounds that were expected. As for deterministic model, it is relatively quick and economical. Very good. How about the disadvantages of both? Oh. I'd like to give it a try too. In stochastic models, the future paths are not determined and are dependent on random variables. In deterministic model, output impedance histogram have smaller variation, than impedance observed. You got it dude. Good to see that you are getting a hand of this topic. Okay, now all of you must know how to decide, whether a model is suitable to apply. My advice is, to look for errors and residuals in the models you have computed. From there, choose the model with the lowest error. Oh. Finally I understand it. Thank you everyone. Especially to you sir. You are most welcome and I hope to see you again. Nadia, you are welcome to my house with Belle anytime you want, especially during weekend. We can spend some time studying together. At least I am not alone. Oh Amy. That would be amazing. At least we could throw some slumber party. Ha ha kidding. How rude. Why am I not invited? Of course you are invited. The more the merrier. Created using Powtoon.